Um, I shot a moose once. I didn't mean to break it to you that way. I shot a moose. I was hunting upstate New York in the woods. And I tied the moose onto the fender of my car. And I drove back home. But I didn't realize that the bullet had not penetrated the moose, but had just creased its scalp, knocking it unconscious. I'm driving home along the highway, and I'm going through a tunnel. The moose woke up. So I'm driving with a live moose on my fender. The moose is signaling for a turn. And there's a law in New York State against driving with a conscious moose Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. All right, I don't know what to do. I'm panicky. I realize some friends of mine are having a costume party. I'll go with the moose. I'll ditch him at the party. It would be my responsibility. So I drive to the party. I go up to the front door. The moose is next to me. I knock on the front door. The host comes to the door. I say, hello. You know the Solomons. <laughs> we go in. The moose starts to mingle. Goes to the buffet table. Some guy tries to sell him insurance. The moose is doing great, meanwhile, you know. He scored. Twelve o'clock comes. They judge who's got the best costume of the night. First prize goes to the Berkowitzes. A married couple dressed in a moose suit. The moose comes in second. The moose is furious. He and the Berkowitzes lock antlers in the living room. They knock each other unconscious. Now I figure I'll get rid of them for good. I pile them on the fender and speed up to the woods. But I got the Berkowitzes. I'm driving along with two Jewish people on my fender. And there's a law in New York State. The next morning, the Berkowitzes wake up in the woods in a moose suit. Mr. Berkowitz is shot, stuffed, and mounted at the New York City Golf Club. And the joke is on them because they don't allow Jews.